Welcome to Channel Iron Speed. This time we will discuss about M1A2, Abrams Tank, USA, and T-14 Armada Tank, Russia, M1A2 Abrams, the main battle tank of the United States education. The M1A2 Abrams is the main battle tank, MBT, of the United States Army and several surrounding countries. This tank is a development of the M1 Abrams, which was first developed in the 1980s and has undergone various technological improvements to improve its durability, firepower, and mobility. The Abrams tank is known as one of the best MBTs in the world due to its exceptional armor protection, advanced weapon systems, as well as its superiority in the modern battlefield. The M1A2 was a variant developed from the M1A1, with various changes that significantly improved its capabilities. History and development Abrams tanks are derived from General Crichton Abrams, a military commander as the last. Its development began in the 1970s as a replacement for the M60 Patton, which was considered outdated in the face of old Soviet tanks, such as the T-72. The first version of the M1 Abrams entered service in 1980, produced with the M1A1 variant equipped with a Rheinmetall 120mm smoothbore gun. The M1A2 began development in 1992 with various improvements to electronic systems and armor protection. Currently, various variants and improvements are being developed, such as the M1A2 SEEP system upgrade package, which adds advanced communications technology and sensors to increase situational range on the battlefield. Engineering Design and Specifications 1 Association of the M1A2 Abrams is equipped with Rheinmetall Germany's M2 56120mm caliber smoothbore gun, which has been developed by General Dynamics Land Systems for the tank. These intents are capable of developing various types of ammunition, including a PFSDS, armor piercing, fin stable discharge sabot, anti tank project with high penetrating power, heat, high explosive anti tank, designed to destroy armored vehicles and fortifications. MPAT, multi-purpose anti-tank. Versatile ammunition for a variety of targets. Canister round, ammunition that moves like a large shotgun used against enemy infantry. In addition to the main gun, Abrams is also equipped with welding machine, M240 caliber, 7.62 millimeters, additional M240 machine gun on top of the turret, heavy machine gun, M2. Browning caliber 12.7 millimeters for command tanks. The automatic measurement system calculates the height of the tank to quickly recalculate ammunition, improving efficiency in measurements. Second service and protection system. One of the main keys to Abrams is its very strong armor layer. It uses composite armor with depleted uranium armor, providing exceptional protection against anti-tank and missile warfare projects. Some additional features include Active Protection Systems, APS, such as Trophy APS, which are capable of detecting and destroying projects before they reach the tank. Protection System from Chemical, Biological, and Nuclear Threats. Optional ERA Reactive Armor, Explosive Reactive Armor, which increases resistance to modern anti-tank missiles. 3. Cars and Engines. The M1A2. Abrams uses a Honeywell AGT-1500 gas turbine engine, capable of producing 1,500 horsepower. The main advantages of this machine are fast integration, allowing Abrams to move smoothly across a variety of terrains. Can use various types of fuel, including diesel, Avtur, and gasoline. The maximum speed reaches 67 kilometers per hour on the highway and about 48 kilometers per hour on off-road terrain. However, gas turbine engines also have a disadvantage, which is a very wasteful fuel consumption compared to conventional diesel engines. The suspension system used is Abrams moves stably in heavy terrain, including hilly and sandy areas. 4. Control Systems and Electronics The M1A2 Abrams is equipped with a variety of advanced electronic systems to improve combat efficiency, including Computer-Based Fire Control System, FCS, allowing accurate control even when moving. Thermal Imaging Site, TIS, to detect movement in both day and night conditions. Blue Force Tracking System, 
which allows tank crews to know the position of friendly and opposing units on the battlefield. Vehicle-to-Vehicle -vehicle Information System, IVIS, a digital communication system that allows for better coordination between tank units. All of these systems make the Abrams one of the best situational main battle tanks in the world. Performance on the battlefield. The M1A2 Abrams has been used in a variety of conflicts, including Gulf War, 1991. Abrams engaged in combat against Iraqi tanks, including the T-72, with a very high armament ratio. Iraq War, 2003 to 2011. This tank was used in urban defense and faced threats such as landmines and IEDs, improvised explosive devices. Afghanistan War, although rarely used on a large scale, the Abrams retains the role of a heavy combat vehicle. T-14 Armada, Russia's future battle tank introduction. The T-14 Armada is Russia's next generation main battle tank, MBT, developed by Uralva Gonzavod. The tank was first introduced to the public in 2015 during the Victory Day Parade in Moscow. The T-14 is part of the Armada combat vehicle platform, which also includes other armored vehicles, such as the T-15 infantry fighting vehicle. It was designed to replace older Russian tanks, such as the T-72, T-80, and T-90 with more advanced technology. The T-14 Armada came to worldwide attention for its revolutionary design, which combines automatic weapon systems, advanced armor, and active defense systems that make it more difficult to destroy than previous generations of MBTs. History and Development Development of the T-14 Armada began in the early 2000s and 10s as part of Russia's efforts to update its tank fleet with modern technology. Previously, Russia relied on the T-90, which was a development of the T-72. However, with the growing development of Western military technology, especially tanks such as the M1A2 Abrams, USA, Leopard 2, Germany, and Challenger 2, UK, Russia felt the need to develop a new generation MBT that was superior in terms of firepower, protection, and mobility. The T-14 Armada first appeared in a military parade in Moscow in 2015, but its mass production suffered several delays for various reasons, including budget constraints and technical challenges. Despite this, Russia remains committed to developing and operating these tanks in large numbers as part of its military modernization strategy. Design and Technical Specifications 1. Armament. One of the main features of the T-14 Armada is its 2 AA-82-1 M 125mm smoothbore gun, which is more powerful compared to the 120mm guns used by NATO tanks such as the M1 Abrams and Leopard 2. This cannon has several advantages, among which the ability to fire various types of ammunition, including armor-piercing projectiles APFSDS, high-explosive anti-tank heat, and high-explosive fragmentation can use barrel-launched anti-tank missiles, ATGMS, allowing the T-14 to strike targets up to a distance of 8 to 10 kilometers, far beyond the range of Western tanks. Has higher accuracy and greater firepower compared to previous Russian tank guns. In addition to the main gun, the T-14 is also equipped with 7.62 mm PKTM coaxial machine gun to support close combat. Turret-mounted 12.7mm cord heavy machine gun, useful against enemy air and infantry threats. What is interesting about the T-14 is the use of an automatic loading system autoloader, which eliminates the need for ammunition filler in the tank crew. This not only increases the rate of fire, but also reduces the risk to the crew. 2. Defense and Protection Systems One of the most revolutionary aspects of the T-14 Armada is its advanced protection system. Yardamai. Advanced armor. The T-14 uses a combination of composite armor with the latest generation of explosive reactive materials, ERA explosive reactive armor. This armor is lighter but still provides maximum protection against modern anti-tank projectiles. B. The Afghan Active Defense System, APS. The T-14 Armada is equipped with the Afghanid Active Protection System, APS, which is capable of detect and intercept enemy projectiles before they reach the tank. 
Fire interceptor ammunition to destroy missiles and anti-tank shells at close range. This technology made the T-14 one of the first tanks in the world designed to actively evade enemy attacks, rather than just defend with a thick layer of armor, C. Modular design and protected crew. Another peculiarity of the T-14 was the placement of the tank crew in an armored capsule, separate from ammunition and turret. This is in contrast to conventional tank designs, where the tank crew sits inside a turret that is the main target of enemy attack. With this design, the crew's chances of survival if the tank is hit by an attack increase significantly, since the most vulnerable parts of the tank, such as ammunition, are not near them. 3. Mobility and Machines The T-14 Armada uses a CHTZ-12 N360 turbocharged diesel engine with a power of 1,500 horsepower, which allows it to reach speeds of 80 to 90 kilometers per hour on the highway, faster compared to many other MBTs. Key mobility features include independent suspension for increased maneuverability on rough terrain, weighs about 48 tons, lighter than the M1A2 Abrams, about 60 to 70 tons, which increases its agility on the battlefield. Operational range of approximately 500 kilometers, with the option of adding an external fuel tank for longer distances. 4. Electronic and Control Systems The T-14 is also equipped with a variety of modern electronic systems to improve situational awareness and combat effectiveness. Some of the key features include Digital Fire Control System that uses artificial intelligence to improve accuracy. 360-degree optical and sensor system 